Good morning, everybody. I am Prima. I am your new lecturer. I'll be handling second PUC accountancy. So let us see uh, what is the first unit in accountancy: accounting for not-for-profit organization. So let us see the meaning for not-for-profit organizations. Okay, these are certain organizations which are set up for providing services to its members and the public in general. Okay, for example, it includes clubs, charitable trusts. schools uh, religions organizations trade unions welfare societies and societies for the promotion of art and culture okay these organization mainly refer to the organization that are used for the welfare of the society and are set up as charitable institutions which functions without any profit motive okay their main aim is to provide service to specific group or the public at large normally they do not manufacture purchase or sell goods and may not have credit transactions hence they need not to maintain many books of accounts such as trading and profit and loss account like that okay the funds raised by such organizations are credited to the capital fund or the general funds okay the major sources of their income usually are the subscription from their members the donations granting aids income from investments etc okay the main objective of keeping records in such organization is to meet the statutory requirements and help them in exercising control over the utilizations of their funds okay they also have to prepare the financial statements at the end of each accounting period um certain their income and expenditure and the financial position and submit them to the statutory authority called registers of the society okay so in simple the not for profit organization is the organization to serve for the welfare of the society they do not aim in profit making hence their uh, main motive is to serve the society they work for the welfare of the society in simple this is the meaning okay now let us see the characteristics of a accounting for not for profit organization the first and foremost characteristic is that they provide service to a specific group or a public at large what are all services they provide for example they provide education health care services recreational activities sports they conduct sports and all these are the these are this is the first characteristic now let us go go to the second characteristic okay these are organized as charitable trusts or the society and the subscriber to such organizations are called members i have said you the main um, fund or the major source of the income to these organizations are subscriptions from their members members they uh, before uh, get uh, getting into this organization the members has to take the membership they face some fees so these these are nothing but the subscriptions though so the subscribers to such organizations are called as the members next one their affairs are usually managed by okay they usually managed by managing or the executive committee who will uh, elect this executive committee or the managers is members for example if we take our india is a democratic country okay each and every people have their rights okay but they cannot run the government we have to elect some people to run the government like members mlas mlcs and all such in these organizations the members will elect the managing and executive committee of the organization okay what are the main sources of income for this organization the main sources are the donations okay the donation is now splitted into specific donation and general donations what are the specific donations the donation received only for the specific purpose for example for the construction of building this donation should be used only for the construction of building and it cannot be used for any of the activities so it is called as the specific donation what is general donation general donations uh, can be used for thus conducting sports activities recreational activities or providing health care services for the poor like that it will come under the general donations next one the legacies the legacies are nothing but the rich people some of the rich people uh, will be writing their uh, will okay they'll be having uh, lots of property so not only rich uh, few uh, anybody can write uh, 
uh, the will uh, when they have the property so they will write the property as this property belongs to the trust or the charitable institutions like that that is nothing but the legacies grantinates some governments uh, provide grants to the trust or the charitable institutions okay that is nothing but grant in aid income from investment okay what is this income from investment the organization will invest some of the amount in the business activities okay if they earn any income from those investments they will use for this uh, trust activities and all okay the next one is the surplus generated in the form of excess of income over expenditure rather than the expenditure is uh, less when compared to the income this will not be distributed uh, among their members instead they will simply add it in the capital fund they will use for the uh, trust activities and all okay the next one is the funds raised by such organization through various sources are credited to capital fund or the general fund they will uh, credit uh, the funds raised uh, by such organizations will be credited to the capital fund or the general funds okay the last the next one is the not for profit organization earn their reputation okay i have said you that their main aim is to serve the society they work for the welfare of the society so their goodwill will be increased as in then they contribute to the welfare of the society the more they contribute to the welfare of the society the more the reputation will build for the will be built for the organization they will not see such as the customer is satisfied or the owner is satisfied like other businesses are like they provide the products and they test the whether the customer is satisfied with the product or not not like that the reputation of these firms will mainly depend on their contribution to the welfare of the society and the accounting information as i said uh, you before the accounts is preferred uh, prepared only for to, to meet the statutory requirements okay they uh, normally prepare uh, three accounts that is uh, the accounting records of non profit organization is receipts and payment account income and expenditure account and the balance sheet okay now uh, let us learn uh, what is this uh, receipts and payment accounts receipts and payments accounts is nothing but it is prepared at the end of the accounting year okay on the basis of cash receipts and the cash payments recorded in the cash book okay in simple it is a summary of cash and bank transaction under various heads for example subscription received from the members on different dates which appears on the debit side of the cash book like that example okay now uh, i will uh, show you how to prepare uh, what and all items will come uh, under the heading receipts and payments so please uh, uh, make sure that uh, you will be copying it in your notes maintain a separate notes for accountancy it's a full and full practical subject okay so these are the items which come under the receipt account and the all the receipt Uh, item should be debited on all the payments item should be credited and these are the items which come under the payment so please take a screenshot of it and please take it down in your notes okay it will help you in while preparing the receipts and payment account hope you have taken the screenshot of it next i'll be showing you the receipt and payment account for the year ending this is the pro forma of receipt and payment account okay take a screenshot of it see this receipts are debit side and the payments are of credit side it will be continued in the next page also it will be continued in the next page also so please take a screenshot of it okay i'll show you once again these are the items which come under receipts and payment account okay and this is the pro forma continued in the next page take a screenshot of it and write it in your notes okay hmm. now let me teach you how uh, what are the steps in preparation of receipt and payment account okay step 1 i will just read the steps uh, in preparing the receipt and payment account while solving you will come to know okay step 1 take a opening balance of cash in hand and cash at bank and enter them on the debit side in case there is a bank overdraft at the beginning of the year enter the same on the credit side of the account that is on the payment side okay step 2 show the total amounts of all receipts on its debit side irrespective of their nature whether capital or revenue and whether they are they pertain to past current and future periods okay the step 3 is 
show the total amount of all payments on its credit side irrespective of their nature whether capital or revenue and whether they pertain to past current and future periods okay the step 4 is none of the receivable income and payable expenses is to be entered in this account as they do not involve inflow or outflow of the cash as i said you before it's not a profit motive company it's a service motive company so they do not expect any inflows or to the organization okay the step 5 is the last step is if debit side is less than credit then close the account as bank overdraft and if the credit side is less than the debit side close it as a balancing figure like balance carried down as cash and or bank okay these are the steps in preparation of a receipts and payment account okay now let let me show you the first problem under receipts and payment account okay you take down the uh, um, problem take a screenshot of it and write down the problem okay i'll read you the problem from the following particulars relating to silver point okay silver point is a organization prepare a receipt and payment account for the year ending march 31st 2017 okay under debit side they have given you opening cash balance 1000 rupees opening bank balance 7200 rupees and the subscriptions collected for the year for 3 years they have given for 2015 and 16 is 500 rupees for 2016 and 17 is 7600 for 2017 and 18 it is 900 so total it is 9000 the next item is sale of refreshments it is 1000 rupees and the entrance fees received is 1000 rupees now let us come to the credit side sale of old sports materials is 1200 donation received for pavilion is 4600 rent paid 3000 sport material purchases 4800 purchase of refreshment 600 expenses for maintenance of tennis court 2000 salary paid 2500 tournament expenses 2400 furniture purchase 1500 office expenses 1200 closing cash in hand is 400 so this is a problem okay now i will show you how to prepare the receipt and payment account okay hope you have taken the pro forma that i have shown you take the screenshot of it and write down in your notes so it will be helpful while preparing the receipt and payment account okay now let me show how to solve this problem hope you have taken this problem and you will have this problem while i'll be solving the you can see the solution okay i'll teach you the solution take a screenshot of it and write it in your notebook this is the first problem under receipts and payments okay i'll show you the how to solve the receipts the given uh, problem okay hope you have seen the pro forma according to pro forma we will go ahead okay i'll show you the solution solution in the books of books of silver point we have to prepare receipts and payment account payment account for the year ending for the year ending march 31st 2017 okay first the pro forma will come debit and credit side debit side you have to record all the receipts okay this is the pro forma and the credit side you have to record all the payment items okay this is the pro forma you have to follow while preparing the receipts and payment account okay now let us go one by one hope you have the problem I have shown you the problem in the video so please take down the problem okay and keep it ready write it in your notes okay let us go one by one opening cash balance they have given at the debit side so take that as the balance carried down okay under this you take opening cash they have given you 1000 rupees and the opening bank the second item okay 
as 7200 they have given you okay the next item is the subscriptions subscriptions under that they have given you for 3 years 2015 and 16 it is 500 rupees 2016 and 17 it is 7600 rupees and for 2017 and 18 it is 900 rupees so total it and write in the outer column as 9000 okay the next item is sale of refreshment sale of refreshment they have given you 1000 rupees the next one is entrance fees received which comes which is given as 1000 rupees okay now the debit side we have finished we have recorded all the receipt items okay now let us come to the credit side okay the first item under the credit side they have given as the sale of old sport materials okay we are selling the old sport materials when we sell the old uh, sports materials we will receive some amount right so this will come under the receipts okay the sale of old sports materials okay they have given as 1200 rupees next item is donation received for the pavilion we are receiving the donation so it will come under the receipt side okay donation donation received for pavilion this is the received item we are receiving the donation so it comes under the receipt side they have given us 4600 okay the next item is rent paid we are paying the rent okay we are making the payment so the rent paid will come under credit side under payment item 3000 rupees the next item is sports materials purchased sports materials purchased when we purchase something we are paying out so it becomes the payment so they have given 4800 so sports material purchased is 4800 next up purchase of refreshments purchase of refreshments when we purchase something we are paying out so it comes under the payment side 600 rupees next expenses for maintenance of tennis court we are expending something we are spending something for what for maintaining the tennis court so the expenses for maintaining maintenance of tennis court is a payment we are making so it comes under credit side under the payment heading it is 2000 rupees okay next the salary paid we are paying the salary the amount is going out so we are paying we are making a payment 2500 next tournament exp expenses okay what is this tournament we have we are conducting a tournament so we'll uh, spend some money for conducting the tournament right so tournament expenses we are expending so tournament expenses is 2000 Four hundred. Next, we are purchasing the furniture. When we purchase something, the amount is going out. So, for furniture purchase, thousand five hundred comes under the payment heading. The next one is office expenses. We are spending some money for the office purpose. So, we are recording under payment side. It comes under payment side thousand two hundred rupees. Next, they have given the closing cash in hand. so we have to close it as the balance carried down as cash okay 400 rupees okay now let us add all these items okay under receipts first we will add okay 1000 plus 7200 plus 9000 plus 1000 plus 1000 Plus thousand two hundred plus four thousand six hundred will come to twenty five thousand. Okay, will come to twenty five thousand. Next payment side we will add three thousand plus four thousand eight hundred plus six hundred 
plus 2000, 2500, 2400, 7500, sorry 1500, 1200 and 400. It comes to 18,400. So, credit side is less when compared to the debit side. So, we have to balance both receipts and payment account. So, the balancing figure here we have to close it as the bank. Okay. The bank. Already we have a cash. So, we will close it as bank. It is a balancing figure. So, here we got 25,000. The total amount of receipts we got 25,000. So, 25,000 minus the total of all payments we got 18,400. So, minus 18,400 comes to 6,600. So, the balancing figure here under payments we are closing it as a bank. So, now we will balance the receipts and payment account which, which comes to 25,000 and 25,000. So, this is the solution. So, hope you understood this problem. Please take down it. Take a screenshot of it. And write it in your notes. This is all about the receipts and payment account. Hope so you have understood. Hope so you have understood the problem. Take a screenshot of it. This is the solution for the problem which I have given, which I have shown you already. I have said you to take the screenshot. Okay. Write the question and solve the problem. Hope you have understood the problem. So now I am giving you the homework problem under receipts and payments. As I said to you, the receipts and payments accounts will be prepared on the basis of summary of cash book. So... This is a problem you have to take. Take a screenshot of it. It is a homework for you. I have already shown you the items which comes under receipts and payments account. Okay. Based on that, you have to segregate which are the receipts and payments. Follow the proforma. Segregate which belongs to receipts account and which belongs to payment account and solve this problem. Okay. In the next class, I will be showing the solution for this problem. You have to solve this problem and you have to show me. Okay. So today I will wind up with this. Next class we will learn about the income and expenditure uh, account. Okay. Take a screenshot of it and try the problem. Prepare a receipt and payment account. In next class we will see about income and expenditure account. Okay. Thank you.